Welcome back all the fans and followers of space fiction! When I returned from a vacation on Mars last time, I realized that you are missing something very important for regular space travel. You are missing space infrastructure. Infrastructure is a very broad concept. In general, it is a group of devices or objects that allow people, resources or information to be transported from one place to another. I originally wanted to make one video on this topic, but since it's a fairly extensive one, I split the video into several parts. And in this video, we take a closer look at the space transportation system. When I ask you if you have a space transportation system, it is possible that most of you will answer yes. However, the reality is that you do not yet have a transportation system. You do some launches into orbit time to time and some unique individual missions to nearby planets and asteroids. But that is not the system. You are still only in the exploration phase. If you want to travel to the Moon and Mars on a regular basis, you need a system that will secure every part of that journey. No, I'm not talking about a supersized and powerful spaceship launching from Earth and landing on Mars. Something like that would never work either. Why? Imagine you want to travel on a trip from London to a friend in New York. How would you travel? If you are not a multimillionaire and you do not have a private airport in the backyard, then in the first place you would get in a car or a bus, get to the airport, get on a plane there and you would land in New York. Here you would get back in a taxi or subway that would take you to the address where your friend lives. And this is exactly what the transportation system looks like. It is not one universal transport vehicle, but several different ones, each specializing only in given route. Therefore, even when traveling in space, you need to build a transportation system in the first place. Whether you're traveling to the Moon or Mars, you'll first fly into Earth's orbit using a light, reusable spaceship. Even the bus doesn't get scrapped right after it takes you to the airport, but it repeats the route countless times. This ship must be strong enough to overcome the Earth's gravity and must also have an aerodynamic shape and thermal protection for return to the atmosphere. From this spaceship you will enter into the transfer terminal on Earth's orbit. In principle it will be an orbital station to which several transport spaceships from Earth and a few interplanetary spaceships can be connected at the same time. I will not discuss the issue of artificial gravity now, I have already made a video about it, which you can watch from the link in the description below. Here you will board a large interplanetary spaceship. An interplanetary spaceship does not need any thermal shield or aerodynamic shape. It will only travel in open space. It also does not need landing engines and landing gears, which would make it too heavy. Of course, the trajectory and flight time will be different from whether you will only travel to the moon, which is relatively close, or whether you will go on a longer journey such as Mars. This spaceship will take you to the target planet and park itself on its orbit. Here you will enter another transfer terminal, from which a small reusable spaceship will take you to the surface of the planet. This another spaceship will be specialized only on landing on a given planet. For the Moon it only needs a landing gear and engines. For Mars it will also need protection from the planet's atmosphere and of course more powerful engines. And let me not forget, supplies must also be part of the transportation system. In particular, fuel supply for interplanetary spaceship. The condition is that each base on the surface of the Moon or a planet has to be able to produce its own rocket fuel. 
Small spaceships designed to transport people into orbit and back to the surface will always refuel itself on the surface and only the amount they really need. Large interplanetary spaceships must be supplied separately during in-orbit parking. Whether parked at Earth, Moon or Mars, its supply spaceship will need to be able to bring new fuel or spare parts from the surface. Without such a transportation system you can forget about your holidays on Mars. In the next video we'll look at another part of space infrastructure, space navigation. Thank you for watching and the next time I fly by the Earth I will send you another video from the world of space fiction.